this is being recorded, we happen to be in the middle of a depression. And a depression means that a lot of people are getting so blown out about trying to find work or at least something to do for the day that they just kind of get depressed. And so there's a reason why this is being made early in the series, because the harp actually contains an automatic antidepressant. Now we talk about antidepressant drugs, and if you get to know me, you're going to find out that I'm pretty much the most anti-drug person you're ever going to meet. The thing is that these drugs will automatically take you out of being who you really are and make you into somebody else. And that really doesn't work because you were made to be who you are. There is another way to deal with depression, and the Irish invented it because you've got to understand, for 500 years they were run by people across a small body of water who they didn't like very much and who didn't understand them at all. And that was pretty depressing. And so they developed what we call Irish Concert D. And that's really the point of this, because you can take any harp and do that. Now this harp, I always tune in B-flat. You're going to hear that a lot in this series. And that means if I go like this, and I start on the bottom red string, so all these levers are off, I go like this. That means I have a Dorian mode that relates to the major key of B flat. Now that's a little tough to understand at first, I know. But the B flat scale, if I start up here on this string, that's B flat. Okay, now to get out of that and get into this Irish concert D, I do these sets of levers. E flat, F, B flat, and so on all the way up. And you see I now have three sets of levers up. And that puts you in the major key of G. So we go C, D, E, F, and then G. This is the string I'm starting on. But now for Irish Concert D, what I'm doing is, and almost all Irish music is in this key, I'm dropping down to D. So G, F sharp, E, D. And this will work on any instrument. And I get a scale that goes like this. When you start getting more familiar with your instrument, you're going to realize that what I just did is exactly like a major scale with one little tiny difference. The last note is a whole step, and that's what is the key to this whole thing. It makes it sound a little goofy, a little rowdy, but also does a few other odd things. If I want to do your old Louie Louie thing, That chord is minor. It's what we call a fifth, and it's a little funny. And it makes the whole thing sound a little bit cockeyed compared to what you're used to playing in major keys. Well, of course, the Irish make that work. And when they do that, for whatever reason, it becomes the antidepressant musically. And that really works nice.
next time you run into somebody who's feeling a little depressed, and right now, at least this month, you're going to, I can about guarantee it, go ahead and play something for them in this Irish Concert D, which is also, by the way, known as Mixolydian Mode. And you will help them, and when you help someone else, you always help yourself, too. Because that's one thing that is the surest way out of depression, is if you, if you can't go and hear some Irish music, or you can't play some Irish music, or anything else, the one way you'll get out of depression is find somebody you can help, and you'll be okay within seconds. It's amazing.